So, so somewhere in there that first year, um, as a D, as Josh, the defense coordinator, I, um, I had one class left for my fire science degree. I came home, I talked to the pops and I'm like, dad, what do you think? And he says, you already know what I think, you know, um, I made a bet with my high school baseball coach that I was going to be a fireman. And he told me in high school, you're going to be a coach, but you can tell me what you want. Uh, and so I, I talked to some of those people that I really um, trusted, you know, valued their their input. And I dropped the fire science yeah. class the next day and started a kinesiology degree. And I think at that kind of time, um, I don't know if I knew right away I wanted to be a head coach. I wanted to continue doing what we were doing. We had a special thing going. And, um, there were some just great times and great memories. I, I can't believe they were so long ago. <laughs> um, but uh, so actually in, in 2008, when Coach Henderson moved on from Aquinas at the end of 2008, beginning of 2009 season, um, is when I got the opportunity to, and that was also right around the time I got married. Um, my wife and I were married in June. I got the job in like March or something like that of 2009. So um, it was definitely a roller coaster. Um, but no, there was somewhere in there where I, I think is, I can remember a couple of games. We had a really influential priest on that Aquinas that would do pre-game uh, mass and rosaries and chapels. And I think when I saw some of the influence that he had, and not only Coach Henderson, but Father Joe Borba as well, and Father Justin Rose had on our team, I think I really felt the Lord's call to not just coach and try and win games. I mean, we're just competitive, right? We're out there, you know, playing horse and shooting hoops. I want to win. But I think right. it's where I, I saw the changing of young men's lives, um, where it really hit me. Uh, we won a state championship in 2005. A kid named Rick Johnson got up and he's going to be like the chief of LA County Fire one day. He's just that guy, you know, he looks like a million bucks. He can talk well. Um, and he got up and spoke about me. And I was kind of thinking like, me? He does all this about me, and I still have the, the the typed speech that he wrote. I have never gotten rid of it. I, I got to get my hands on that. And, uh, good friends with Rick to this day, and his actually his dad and my father-in-law are really good friends. And so, I think it was when I realized that I do have an impact, uh, positive and negative. There, you know, there's there's a lot of not a lot. But there's some some stories that didn't work out so well in those years. Um, so uh, that's I think where I really realized I wanted to to influence lives and, and change young men's lives.